Time to continue with the final part of our Ratty Revel 124th scale Golf GTI model build. In this episode we'll finish the kit build off with the remaining painting and weathering stages. Our focus next turns to the engine bay. Step 1 is to paint it in the same white shade as the rest of the main body. We then take some Ammo by MIG Rust Primer which we liberally spray over the area to make it dirty and corroded. For rust spots, the airbrush is turned down to a low pressure using the MAC valve regulator. With hardly any air flowing through the brush, the paint is stippled on, depicting heavy rust speckling. As for the engine, it is primed in a very dark black brown after assembly. Then a light buff colour is sprayed over it to depict dust and grime. Next up, we reach for Life Colour's reflecting agent pigment. By applying it with a flat brush, a gleaming metal finish is achieved. It's worth saying at this point that the intention is not to create a correctly coloured GTI power plant, but just a grungy engine block that can fill the engine bay. The whole area will be covered up anyway, but at least it looks busy if seen from below or if we were ever to open the model up. To that end, we spray more rusty brown underneath to blend everything together. The final decals and glazing are next. The number plates and badges are soaked in water and applied using decal setting solution from Microscale. Indicator glass is also attached at this stage. Once everything is dry we set about permanently fitting the wheels using glue. The conversion pieces are supplied with metal axles so they were cut down to form axle stubs that fit in the plastic parts. Using a super glue, in this case Rocket Hot, the wheels are carefully attached in their final configuration, making sure they look right and sit right. The next stage is to fit a retro sun visor to the windscreen. This is done by masking off the top rear portion first. Then Tamiya Clear Green is applied with a coat of smoke afterwards. Note that the spraying is done on the underside only to get a uniform finish. Note too that we used coats of Tamiya smoke sprayed on the rear of the clear plastic to create the smoked glass on the rest of the model. In order to show road dust and general dirt, some Tamiya buff enamel is sprayed over the lower parts. The advantage of this approach is that it can be easily adjusted or even removed using white spirit. You can see that the bonnet or hood is quite shiny, so that will get a bit of the enamel dust effect too. To create streaks, a thick wide brush moistened with thinner is drawn down vertically. As it attacks the enamel, it creates a pleasing streaking effect. After a quick clean of the airbrush, Wilder's Nitro Line light rust speckling effects are misted over in tiny amounts. These diffused coats create a rusty effect, as seen on the black paint here. Like with the engine bay, stippling is again used to create numerous rust spots. The advantage is that any unwanted spots are simply cleaned away with thinners. Here you can see us going around the kit and adjusting the finish further. The glass parts are stuck into place using a specialist odourless superglue that won't damage clear parts. The gulf is starting to look nearly complete. There's a couple more weathering stages left though. First is some streaking. For this Ammo by MIG references are used. They marked a line of streaking colours and they're painted all over the Ratty GTI. After a few minutes drying time another flat brush with a small amount of thinners is drawn downwards to create effective streaks. Any final touching up is completed as necessary. Before we apply a final amount of surface streaking using pigments, in this case by MIG Productions. They are brushed on dry and then blended or dragged vertically downwards with a dry brush for another variant of streaks. Oh. 
Finally, some life colour vegetable origin damp yellow is used to depict mould. With all that done, the Revel Golf is complete. It's been a fun build of a great kit. The paint job has been really enjoyable and we love ratty weathered vehicles. The resin and metal upgrade wheels from Scale Production of Germany were brilliant and helped radically change the look and stance of the vehicle. Here are some more shots of the finished build. Thanks for following this complete build series. If you'd like to see more of these more detailed build series featuring five or six films with a complete paint job from start to finish, let us know in the comments. We have plenty of future build videos waiting to be made, so if you would like to see any of the following edited into a series, let us know via the comments section or the poll you can see here. You can also follow any of our social media channels, give us a Facebook like, or hit subscribe to get updated whenever we release a video. Thanks for watching and bye. Subscribe for our latest videos.